He is your victim mentality killing your come up? Well, let's talk about it. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. Well, guys, I am back, back, back with a new video. And this one is about victim mentalities and how they show up in the world. In this video, I created this look while discussing this topic. Disclaimer, this is not a, a, a blame the victim type video. Please don't take it that way. But it's about self-awareness. It's about recognizing traits in ourselves and in others to facilitate our come up. And if you are loving this unit, honey, if you are loving it, this uh, unit is part of my Black Girl Blonde series on my second channel, Pretty and Things. Please subscribe. And in that series, I will basically be reviewing, unboxing and reviewing blonde wigs that are black girl friendly, inexpensive, affordable wigs like this one. You can find the link to the unboxing of this wig, the Kamani, in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to be doing my makeup. This is most of the stuff is, you know, stuff I just got, stuff I've never used. So, yeah, I thought I'd sit here and use it for the first time and talk to you about this topic. Because it's, a, I see, I've seen this a lot up close and personal. So, what is a victim mentality? What is the definition of a victim mentality? Basically, it's not my fault. Nothing I do is my fault. It's a person who feels that life is a result of things that happen to them as opposed to the things that, well, they do. So how do you develop a victim mentality? Okay. Um, of course, a victim mentality comes from, you know, being oftentimes being victimized, right? Childhood trauma, um, physical, emotional, mental abuse right i mean let's keep it real here or all of the above um and all those issues are unresolved you bring them into adulthood and they are unresolved you guys i haven't laid my wig down yet so don't come for me and victimhood can also come from a place of privilege you know i don't get my way then you know i'm a victim you know the karens for example, so first of all, you guys, um, is the, the angry victim. And the angry victim is the one who allows things to happen to them. The angry victim is the one who self sabotages. The angry victim is the one with the chip on their shoulders. And the, the, the angry victim is the one who takes it out on others. The angry victim invites trouble. The angry victim will meet someone and know, meet a man, and know, know that they are bad news, this, uh, you know, toxic, abusive, whatever. They will know this. And instead of running away from him, they will run to him and bring him home because one of the things we know about a victim is what you can't be a victim without a perpetrator so this is the, the angry victim invites perpetrators this is the one who will turn against people who actually love them and care about them and tell them right and try to help them the one that saw this person was abusive or whatever and try to steer them away from them. But the angry victim is not happy until the worst happens, right? They're not happy until they're the victim. Now they will seek sympathy for being in these situations, but they won't take any responsibility for putting themselves in it. 
the angry victim says things like, I don't have a choice. Therefore, they will make choices that they know are bad and then tell themselves that they didn't have a choice but to make it. Hence, you know, they didn't have a choice but to become a victim. When in actuality, a bad choice shouldn't even be an option. But because they take no responsibility for anything they do, nothing they do is their fault. I don't have a choice. When in fact, everything is a choice. Not making a choice is a choice. But then it's that sense of powerlessness. Woe is me, I don't have a choice. They will also say things like, well, I have to find things out the hard way. Why? Why does it have to be the hard way? That's a choice, right? That's a mentality. If you know fire is hot and that if you stick your hand in that fire, it will burn you. A victim will stick their hand in the fire and get burned. Even though they know the fire is hot, they know it will burn, they know that burn will hurt, they will stick their hand in that fire because in their mind, getting hurt is the only way they can learn, right? Being the victim. But it's tough sometimes to be sympathetic to this type of victim. And I say that because this type of victim takes no responsibility, of course, for what they do. They do something to you, you check them, they don't acknowledge what they have done. It's, well, you said this to me, you did this to me. Okay, but why? Because your feelings do not matter. They are the victim always. So you check them and their response is what? Yeah, but, yeah, but. And you know when someone says, but, they have, have to totally dismissed what came before. Well, sorry, forget the but. Let's focus on the yeah, because the yeah is why I checked you. But they don't see it that way. It's all about them. The angry victim has a chip on their shoulder. They act as if something that happened 20 years ago happened just yesterday. Unfortunately, the angry victim is likely to stay that way because that, that's their coping mechanism. Because it serves them in their own sad way. So next up is the, well, the entitled sort of uh, victim, um, the, the Karens, okay? Now, these Karens, we've seen them in the last couple of years pop up. These Karens operate with malice and they use it as a weapon. They weaponize their victimhood. You've seen it. A person of color, a black person, will be in their neighborhood. They will say something to this person of color. And they are completely wrong, completely out of pocket, telling them you're not supposed to be in this neighborhood. When that person lives in that neighborhood, when that person says, excuse me, and, and it checks them and stands up for themselves, they start crying. When this person records them, they start crying and screaming and in effect playing the victim. But this crazy part about that and the scary part about that is when they play the victim, there can often be consequences, right? Especially in America. It is what it is. Now, for the record, you guys, what is a Karen? What is the actual definition of Karen these days? Hey, Google, what is the definition of a Karen? term for a white woman perceived as entitled or demanding beyond the scope of what is normal. The term is often portrayed in memes depicting white women who use their white privilege to demand their own way. Hmm. That is the official definition of a Karen. The Karens don't care about the consequences of their actions. In fact, they are fully aware of the potential consequences of their actions and they're crying and playing the victim and what it could mean to well, a black person, a person of color, the consequence. 
because the Karens play victim with malice. They are, it is intentional. Their objective is to hurt the other person in some way, often fatally. The third type of victim is the passive aggressive victim. The type of victim who is unhappy with their lives, who is often jealous or envious of you or someone else, and they find petty ways to try to hurt them. This is the victim who will get angry for no reason. This is the victim who will be angry and you don't even know why they're mad at you. This is a victim where everything is everything. You guys are cool. You're texting, you're talking, and then boop, out of the blue, they stop for no reason. You know you haven't done anything to them, but in their eyes, for some reason, they perceive that you have. This is the type of victim who likes to be angry, who, enjoy, who looks for reasons to be offended. It's all in their head. This is the type of victim who will like unfollow you on Instagram as you know, as if that's going to hurt you in some way. And once again, you have no idea why, because you know, you have not done anything to them, but they are still playing the victim out of some sense of being wronged indirectly. But they don't come to you. They don't come to you and say, hey, what's going on? This is how I feel. Why did you do ABC? Um, this is why I'm upset with you. You know why they don't come to you with that? Because they know you didn't do anything to them. This is all about them and not about you. They don't have the balls to step to you, but they are victims. They, they look for reasons to be angry at you because, again, all of this stems from, I think, a sense of jealousy. They are unhappy people and often they take it out on others the passive aggressive victim tries to hurt you by turning other people against you the passive aggressive victim feels as though you have wronged them in some way even though you have absolutely no idea why so they spend their time trying to undermine you, trying to hurt you. We need to keep in mind that those with victim mentalities are created. They are not born, they are created. I mean, a Karen is not born racist. A Karen is a product of those who are racist and who raised her as such. People are not born angry or uh, self-pitying or passive aggressive these are behaviors and attitudes that are learned throughout our experiences in life often negative experiences next we're going to go in with my favorite and this is highlighter this is actually my own highlighter palette you can get it on poshmark for 10 bucks you've got six gorgeous shades here and yeah, I'm going to use, which one am I going to do with this? I'm going to go with probably that one. Super pretty. Look at that, y'all. Woo! Tell me. Tell me that's not beautiful. Tell me. You're lying. And it goes, it's stunning, you guys. Again, 10 bucks, Poshmark. I will link it below. And you guys, this is why I am a firm believer, and I've said this before, in therapy. And working through your issues because if you don't they kill your come up you guys it, it's not possible to be your best self when you are carrying around rage and anger when you see yourself as less than when you don't take responsibility for the choices that you make and when you don't take responsibility for the choices that you make that gives you permission to continue to make bad ones. The mindset of a victim is actually distorted. The way they see things and the way they actually were are often two completely different realities. 
And last but not least, you guys, the children. Um, the children of those with these victim mentalities are the ones who suffer most. Okay, I'm going to throw in some lashes and I will be right back. So this is our final look. Let me know what you think and also let me know what you think about, well, victim mentalities. Do you have one? Do you know people who have them? And how has that manifested itself in your life? How has that shown up in your life? Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have, thumbs it up, thumbs it up, you guys. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Once again, this wig is part of my Black Girl Blonde series and the links to the units I have uh, reviewed thus far on my second channel, Pretty and Things. Please subscribe. The links will be in the description box below. So, till next time. Mwah.